golf. It's been called the sport of kings, the green goddess, the place where business gets done. Today, we honor the sport the only way we know how. This is Defunct Games Golf Club, where we play some of the most iconic golf games of all time. Join us, won't you? Hello and welcome to another episode of the Defunct Games Golf Club. My name is Cyril Lachelle, and today we're going to be taking a look at Howl's Hole-in-One Golf on the Super Nintendo. I'll admit that it's been a rough few weeks on the golf tour. So far, my best score is 10 over par, and last week I hit 19 over par. You don't have to be a golf expert to know that's no good. Even with the uplifting music in the background, I'll confess that I'm a little bummed out by my performance. But who knows? Maybe hole-in-one golf will be my thing. Let's find out. Right off the bat, we have the Mode 7 in full effect. Well, you know what? I kind of expect this whole thing to be fully 3D and full of rotation and scaling and all that stuff, just like that NCAA basketball game on the Super Nintendo. I expect this to be real, just a, a tour de force in the pre- Whoa. Wait. This is what it looks like? It's just a overhead 2D game? There's no scrolling or scaling or... What the... Oh, man. All right, well, doesn't look like we're going to be able to get a hole-in-one in this hole, so we just want to avoid... Oh, that's ugly. We want to avoid that bunker over there in the distance, so I don't want to overshoot it. Let's see what we have here. Looks like this is just one of those, you know, like, tap it three times to hit it. Oh my god, what a terrible shot. Oh, right into a tree in the first. Hey, well, at least I missed the bunker. Guess that's the good thing I'm going to take out of that. All right, so I can just kind of look around here. Oh, that is so ugly. Really hate that, that effect. All right, I should be able to just hit it over onto the green. We're only 165 yards away, but oh, that's not going far enough. Is that that's not even where I aimed it? What's going on here? Hmm. All right. Well, I should be able to get it on now, and maybe we can get par. Oh, I do like that it shows how far all of these clubs go. That's something that uh, Golfamania introduced last week. We hadn't seen that before. Hopefully every golf game here on out will will have some variation on that. I just overshot that. Hmm, okay. Not sure if I'm on the green or not, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and... Hmm, what's the... Oh, whoa, look at this map. That's weird. Okay, looks like... Whoa, is that a replay? What's... Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. Looks like the the green is just flat, so yeah. So it should be just an easy putt. And I think this is for par. Yeah, this is for par. So let's start this off on a good foot. See what we can do. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna putt it over there. Only 12 yards, did about halfway. Oh, what the hell? That wasn't aimed correctly. Seems to be a trend of the last few shots. All right, well, we'll start with a bogey. You know, learning curve. I'll tell you what. You know, this has been a... It's been an interesting week. I, I've, I've been reviewing games this week from two different genres. One of them is a... Uh, I'm, re I'm reviewing two uh, anime fighting games right now, and then two first-person horror games. Those are just the two genres I'm working with. So this golf experience is, is, is a welcome change. All right, so I think just like the the last one, I want to not overshoot it, and because I don't want to, I don't want to hit that bunker there. Just want to hit right there in the middle. Oh, really hate that effect. So, got the wind, five miles per hour. 
Okay. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh! Oh, perfect. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. A little roll here. No, that's not... That's not cool. Went 230 yards. I like that. We're only 97 yards away. Hmm. Should be able to get on the green. Maybe we can get a, a birdie here, even. Oh, that'd be great. Get a birdie. Get back down to even. That'd be a good start to this. Oh, that is definitely not where I aimed it. What the hell? Oh, and we're in the exact same spot as last time, where I don't know if I'm on the green or not. I'm, Jesus, I guess I'll just put it in. Let's take a look at this map here. It's a bit of a star there in the green. I like that. Okay. Oh, it's not quite... Hmm. Not quite flat. Yeah, I'll just aim it a little to the side. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, too far, too hard. Oh, no. Mm. The problem is that these greens don't have arrows, and that, that map that I that I pulled up, that's not great. Oh, come on. Gotta be kidding me. All right, well, let's... All right, yeah, that's an easy bogey, I guess. All right, plus two on... After two, I mean, that's, that could be a lot worse. Oh, no. Okay. This is where everything falls apart, I think. Take a look at, look at all that water. Oh, and it just goes throughout this whole thing. Mmm. Look how flat this, this aerial shot is. It's like, there's no trees or anything, but there are here. It's just, I guess that's the limitation of the Mode 7. All right, all right. Well, first things first, all I want to do is avoid the water. I just want to avoid the water. And so I, I have a couple of options here. I could go light or I could just swing it with the, the, the one wood. So I'm just going to swing it with the one wood, I think. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, look at that. Okay. I'm in, I'm in the rough, but you know what? I didn't hit the water. That's, that's perfect, okay? So now, I just want to hit it over, over into this little section. It should be easy. And, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm sure, we'll go with what the caddy recommends. All right. Didn't go very far, but it got us on the fairway. That's really all that matters. Okay. This is a par five, so theoretically we could get it on the, the green here. Only 168 yards. Yeah. What the hell? That is... No, that's towards the water, you stupid... Oh. Okay. Well, you, you remember a couple of seconds ago when I said we could maybe get par or even maybe birdie? Well, you can just throw that out the window because... Ah, oh, Christ, what the hell? This is just how things go... start to go bad. I made a pledge, by the way, at the beginning of this, that if I get a hole-in-one in hole-in-one hole golf, then I'm just going to quit. That's going to be the end of this entire series. I'm just going to stop. Because it's not going to get any better than getting a hole in one. And I... Uh, what a terrible shot that was. Alright, we'll get the double bogey. Yeah, stupid water. God damn it. The one thing I've learned is that these golf games get me angrier than, than most games. And I, I don't get that angry when playing games. I, I, I review a ton of games, so... You know, I'm constantly losing lives and getting stuck in places and stuff like that, but I don't know. These golf games, they, they get me worked up more than anything. I should have, maybe I should have taken, a, I should have done something else, like a, like a bowling game or tennis. I don't get worked up in tennis. Maybe next season, if I if I hit the links again, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll bring in a second person. And we'll do it. Two players, so that at least, maybe I can beat somebody. Get it over this water. I just don't... Oh, God. Come on. Okay. Okay. And I'm on the... Okay. That's good. I'm on the... Uh, I'm on the green. I mean, that... That hole's a mile away, but... Let's see what it looks like. 
Oh, man, I'm right at the top of that, too. All right, all right. Do want to see that replay again, though? <laughs> oh, I just barely missed the bunker. All right. Well, this is a this is gonna be a crazy putt, but let's see what happens. Oh no! <gasps> okay. Well, <laughs> that's a well. That is the most impressive birdie I, I think I've I've ever had. <laughs> about that so what's that what are you up to, to three over par man that's going to be one of those shots i'm going to be talking about for the rest of this the rest of this tour did you see that that time that i sank it from like a mile away no because you're not watching all right well be that way all right so again all we want to do here is is miss those bunkers. So there's just that slim, narrow spot there. So let's well, see what we can do. Oh no! Oh no! Oh come on! Get away from that. Okay. Oof. Right there in the rough, but that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try the three iron, I guess. I mean, we're quite a ways away, 187 yards. Boy, that's not gonna, that's not gonna get us on. Ugh, that's too bad. Oh, what the? <laughs> of course. Sure, narrowly miss one of the bunkers just to hit it in the other. Great. All right, well, at least this bunker's more manageable. This one can get us right on the, the green. So let's see what we can do here. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. I like that. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's see what the map tells us. Ooh. Ooh. At least we're both on that little hill there. And we can zoom out. Let's see, can we zoom in any? Just, yeah, I think we just zoom in. Yeah, I just, it goes one times and two times. So, hmm. Disappointing. All right. Let's go ahead. We should just be able to tap this in. Is this going to be for par? Oh, perfect. Is that par? Par. All right. All right. Three over par. Going into the sixth hole already. So I looked around for reviews. Uh, not many magazines reviewed this right out of the gate. Uh, I did find that Nintendo Power gave it a 3.8 out of 5. That's, you know, above average. That's not too bad, but if you watched the, the video we just posted looking at the Nintendo Power's best uh, reviewed games of 1989, then you'll know that that 3.8 isn't going to be enough to get us uh, get in the top 10, at least not in 1989. Who knows what it looked like in 1991? I guess we'll get to that in a few weeks. Okay, I think this is just another one of those where we're going to just try to hit it down the middle and miss those those bunkers. Uh, there's a bit of the wind, so we're going to hopefully... Uh-oh. Okay, we'll miss that one. Oh, we're going to go right into the... Yeah, damn it. Okay. Well. Uh, this is a par four, huh? I don't know, we'll just you know, get it on the fairway, I guess. Get it on... I guess try to get par. All right. So then, let's let's go ahead and uh, hmm, 103 yards. I'll just give it all this club can go. Maybe yeah. Let's try to aim it a little better. Oh come on. Oh no! <laughs> I should have aimed it a little, a little more to the left, I guess. Christ, what the hell? All right, well, maybe we can chip it in for a, for par. Oh, that's way too far. Oh man, that's gonna go off. Damn it! I was doing so well there. This is the course just coming back at me saying, you know what? 
Screw your birdie. I'll show you. Okay. I wish there was a way that I could pull that up and not have it immediately go off of the what I'm looking at, off of this page here. All right, we'll get the bogey. I mean, you know, fine. Hole seven, only three more to go here, so hopefully uh, I can just keep this. We can keep under 10 under par, and this will be the best game we've, we've ever had. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Uh... But we want to miss that water that's up there, but I don't think that's going to be too big of a problem right yet. I think I'm more worried about those bunkers. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's try to aim. We got some some wind. Hopefully that's not going to carry us into a bunker. I think we'll be good. Oh, all right, and it stayed on. It stayed on the fairway. That's good, perfect. Now, how do I deal with this this lake up here? No, I can't. I can't go on to that that island. Ooh, 254 yards. So that is. I mean, that's quite a trek over there. Oh. I think what I want to do is just sort of get it a little closer. Yeah, and then just... Okay, so you can stop, 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 You mother... Oh, come on. Okay. It's going to be one of those holes. Well, at least it should be easy to just... Should be easy just to get it over there now. So let's look at that ugly transition, and I mean, we'll just yeah, go with the five iron, I guess. Try to aim it a little bit better. Okay, maybe we can at least yeah, at least we'll get it on the green in that in that shot. We'll be able to get par. Oh, hey, we could get par with this. Maybe it wouldn't be that bad, even with a, a water hazard. I mean, the Jesus, the last few times I've tried to, I've had a water hazard and like golf mania, it, it, it sank me, and I that's no no pun intended. Okay, slight pun intended. I worked on that all night. I workshopped that. I, I do like the replay. That that's a that's a neat function. I hope I see more of that uh, going forward. Oh, damn it! Oh, quit rolling, you stupid ball! Ah, this would have been one of those great situations where uh, it would have been handy to have, yeah. There we go. Would have been handy to have some arrows on the on the green. Some way to indicate you know what's what's going on. All right, here's our pent ultimate hole. This is a long one, 355 yards. Or four, okay. Hmm. I really hate this music. Not not all of the music, but just just the music in in the preview. I, I really hate that music. This music here is fine. Like it's not it's not great. It's upbeat. That's nice. This isn't a show about reviewing music, though. All right. Hmm. There is some uh, some water I want to avoid here, so hopefully we can just hit it over this first little lake. And okay, that's good. All right. Perfect. I think we are out of trouble when it comes to water. So let's go ahead and let's see what, what it looks like. Hmm. 
doing doing well. Five over par. So I can already tell this is going to be our best game. Oh, come on. Just short. That's not the way to do this. Now, if you <laughs> if you don't think I'm going to putt it, then you haven't been watching me play this whole time. So you you already... Oh, man, that's a little, little hill there, isn't it? So you already know that I'm going to do that. So no mystery. So let's, let's go ahead and I guess we'll try to putt it. It's only 17 yards, so about half. Oh, no. Oh, it's rolling back now. Mm. All right. Um, okay, this is for par. That's way too hard. And here's where everything just kind of comes crumbling back down. there and all right not too hard okay that's good jesus how many is it gonna take it's gonna be a double bogey <gasps> you mo oh you mother okay you've got to be kidding okay this this could be a triple bogey it is gonna be a triple bogey what the what the hell all right so what that bring me up to was it eight oh, that's so bad this is a short one, though. This is only par 3, 211 yards, so I'm, I'm hoping for, for something good here. Ugh. All right. Plus 8. Not good. This could make or break it. Remember, the lowest we've had so far is uh, 10 over par. The highest we've had, unfortunately, is 19 over par, and so we're not... I'd really have to screw up for, for that to happen. We're definitely not going to get 19 over par. Oh, oh, okay. But this is this is how you start towards the road towards 19 over par. It's paved with shots like that. At least there's no water here. So, okay. Oh, is that too hard? Yeah, that's that's a little too hard. Needed to aim that a little bit better. Take a look at the hole. Right. Well then, let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and try the putt. Mm, too hard. Not aimed correctly. Okay, this is going to be for bogey. Oh my! Oh. If I get this, it's going to be 10 over par. Yeah. Look at that. Double bogey brings us up to 10 over par, which we're tied with uh, our best, I guess. I think that, yeah, our, our, our first game, our third game, and now our fifth game are all 10 over par. That's, uh, that's an interesting coincidence. In case you're curious, my super score average is 12.8, an improvement over last week's 13.5. This is definitely a step in the right direction. Because I know you still have a craving for more golf, I strongly recommend you check out Adam Wallace's review of Ninja Golf on the Atari 7800. As you may already know, Adam is reviewing a different golf game every week, and this week he's slicing and dicing with Ninja Golf. Click the link on the screen and check it out. Next week we're going to shake things up a bit with a look at Itchy and Scratchy and Miniature Golf Madness, a putt-putt simulator on the Game Boy. I have a hunch it's not going to tell me the club distance. If you want to join the Defunct Games Golf Club, then go ahead and play the first nine holes, write down your score, and then tune back in next Thursday when I try to survive Itchy and Scratchy. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm currently hard at work on a bunch of new anime fighting game reviews. You won't want to miss my take on both Arcana Heart 3, Love Max, and Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. I'm also working through Pineview Drive, a spooky horror game that is perfect for October. Also, don't forget to check out Sunday's new episode of Online Pass, the video game news quiz. So do me a favor and click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.